mail. Hello there, everyone. Long time no see. <laughs> so uh, for those of you who are new, welcome and hello. And hello to everyone who has been here for a while. Um, I, I know it's been quite a while since I have uploaded any kind of video. Uh, and I'll be talking about that. I kind of thought that things were going to calm down a little bit like after the holidays. They kind of did, but then I got, had other stuff I had to do, which again, like I said, I'll be talking about all that. But um, anyway, for the housekeeping stuff, uh, welcome back and thank you for being here and for bearing with me. And, and for those of you that are still hanging with me, thank you so much and hello to everyone who is new, like I said. And uh, if you like my content, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit that notification bell so you can be notified when new videos do come around, um, when they um, are uploaded. And also leave a comment and tell me what you guys think. Who we have with us today is we have a little, this is the Tink, oops, I'm going to straighten up this blanket here. This is Tink by Bonnie Brown and I have called her Kira. And she was reborn by Misty over at Kids to Cradles Nursery. And I wanted to bring her on because we got to get this girl out of her Christmas outfit, let me tell you. <laughs> so we're going to change her out of her little Christmas outfit and, uh, and put something else on her. And I'm just going to do a just kind of a general change in chat video and just kind of talk with you guys about what's been going on around here. It's nothing like bad or anything, but it's just been really, really, really busy. Now, I did try to record last night and I did it with a different baby. I don't know, I've been just kind of on the preemie kick <laughs> because um, when I recorded last night and I ended up having to scrap the footage because I was recording at night and the lighting in here is really, really horrible at night. And, uh, and the the colors were just horrible. Like my quilt was looking bad, the blanket was looking bad, um, the little baby, you know, he was looking all red, and he w he's you know he's a preemie, but you know he wasn't he was looking a lot more red than he actually was in like real life. <laughs> but anyway, let me show you what I did here with this little one. So this is who I had on here last night, and um, you know was was um, was talking about. So, and I've got him wrapped up like a little burrito baby, but this is the, the Pip sculpt by Cassie Brace. And um, what I did with him was, um, because he is a preemie, he was also uh, painted by Misty over at Kids to Cradles Nursery. And so I bundled him up like a little burrito baby, but I had changed him into the set of pajamas and it says little brother. I'm not gonna totally undo him because then I'd have to re-swaddle him and uh, I don't wanna do that. And then I, um, had this hat on him but it's way 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 too big so I got to find a different hat for him <laughs> and uh, yeah so we'll have to find him a different hat uh, because it is just too loose and it, it wants to fall off but I'm a little bit scattered right now because I am kind of reorganizing things so um, anyway that baby's name is Gage so that's the Pip Kit by Cassie Brace and Reborn by, Mist by Misty over at Kiss to Cradles Nursery but um, uh, I um, what was I saying? Um, so, oh my gosh, like I'm, I'm losing it. Anyway, um, like I was saying, I'm a bit scattered because I'm reorganizing and that's part of what I'm going to be talking about today. But let me show you guys what we're going to put on her. Now, how I have her propped up here is, um, and if I didn't say so already, her name is Kira. Um, so anyway, how I have her propped up here is she's in this like baby nest. You guys have seen me use this quite a few times before. And then I have a little pillow behind the the blankie here and that's a one of the pillows done by Auntie Tamara over at Once Upon a Nursery and then the blanket is just it's a blanket with like little hearts and stuff and I figured you know since we're kind of doing like Valentine's Day or since we're close to Valentine's Day I thought I would use this blanket um, as a little prop for um, changing this girl so anyway what we're gonna do is we're gonna get her out of her Christmas outfit and I you know what guys I am like so sick of winter <laughs> so um, even though it's not really spring weather and it's still a little cold, um, what I am going to do is we're going to go ahead and put this outfit on her. This is um, a little onesie with some matching little pants. Oh my gosh, aren't they cute? And it's preemie size and it is by Simple Joys by Carters. So yeah, even though it is not um, 
springtime yet. We're going to kind of pretend it is because I'm so sick of winter. But anyway, like I said, what has been going on is that um, I have been just incredibly, incredibly busy. Um, and it was like of my own making. Um, what I've been doing is I have been um, just trying to reorganize here. I went through um, a period, especially like over the last week, I went through a period where I um, decided that I needed to purge a lot of the stuff, you know, that I had built up. Not the, not really any doll stuff, but like a lot of old books and a lot of old papers and just stuff that just needed to go for a long time. Um, you know, things that I just um, wasn't using anymore, like, uh, you know, clothes I wasn't wearing or anything like that. So I went through and I cleaned out like two closets. And one of the closets my husband actually took over for his stuff because he's got, you know, he's kind of a pack rat like I am. <laughs> and um, so he had a lot of stuff to, to figure out what he was going to do with. And, uh, but then when I cleaned my junk out of that particular closet, it all went into the living room. And let me tell you, it was a mess. And, uh, so that means like, I mean, it was, it was a real mess. And, um, so I had to, it, it was all piled up on my living room floor. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so, oh, unbelievable. And, uh, it was just all piled up on my living room floor. And I may have to, I'm going to have to see if she's got like a Christmas diaper on. Um, cause we may go ahead and change her diaper too. Um, yeah, actually I think, I think her diaper is okay. Um, let me show you guys her, her little diaper. So her little diaper has just got like little, little creatures on it. So I think we're going to leave that. Um, but anyway, like I was saying, so it all piled up in my living room and let me tell you, it looked like a freaking cyclone hit it. Oh my gosh, it really did. And, uh, so I had to get in the mood to just tackle that and go through it all. And, and you know how sometimes the closets get like, okay, you know, you stick it in there. Well, I'll deal with it later. And then later kind of comes and goes and, and, and you, you put it off and you put it off and, you know, at least that's what happens around here sometimes. So anyway, I had to, I had, oh my goodness, little girl, um, I had to deal with that because it just was a stinking mess and uh, like I said I just you know it was not fit for like human habitation <laughs> so I totally had to there was no choice I had to I had to deal with that mess and that meant um, I did a lot of sorting and I just got rid of just stuff that I knew I wasn't going to use anymore and uh, yeah so um, we had our garbage can full. We had our recycle bin full. We donated a bunch of books to the library. Hopefully they'll be able to use them. Um, yeah, so that's what's been going on. And with with all that said, also, I am also trying to reorganize my, um, my baby stuff too, because um, I have acquired just so much stuff, like with the box openings, you know, for each baby. And um, a lot of times I get just a really, really, really beautiful box opening. So um, just with all the stuff that I've gotten in the box openings and stuff. And um, yeah, so I figured that um, uh, I needed to just kind of revamp my setup and, and reorganize that. And I'm working on that. I'm, I'm a bit scattered in that direction right now. Um, I still have like, oh gosh, probably my main bedroom closet to still still deal with. Um, I got most of it done, but there's things that I need to get up on my top shelf. And I've been putting that off because that means I have to get the step stool. And I hate messing with that darn step stool, but it's got to be done because uh, I got to get it up off of the floor. It's stuff that, um, it's like extra, like, I don't know, coloring stuff, extra like, um, Oh, uh, I've got like, you know, latch hook kits that need to go up there, but they're in big boxes because sometimes the, the latch hook kits are really big. And, uh, so they need to be like out of the way. Cause right now on the floor in there, and I have a walk-in closet, but on the floor right now, it is just, um, it's, it's in my way. And so I need to kind of get it up out of my way until I get ready to use it. So, um, I'm needing to get, um, some of that stuff up to the top shelf in in my bedroom closet and also I started moving some of the babies in the bedroom now all of them before were in the um, 
what I call the sanctuary. It's kind of like my combination craft room slash nursery area in, in that room. And uh, you guys have heard me talk about it. And I promise I will give a room tour, you know, once I am through kind of getting stuff um, fixed up and organized and, and put where I want it to be. And then, um, but like I said, I've, I've gotten, you know, so many babies and um, I did have a, a pretty good change up in there, but I still have quite a bit of of um, improvement to, to do because not everything is where I want it to be right now. But um, I will give a room tour once I get it all situated. And uh, um, so anyway, I started moving some of the, the babies like, oh my goodness, she keeps wanting to slip down. Um, I started moving some of the babies in here and how I managed to do that was, um, <laughs> um, let me just kind of tell you a little bit about, um, a situation that we've, we've got here. Um, nothing bad. Like I said, nothing bad. Um, it can just be, a, it, or, well, it was annoying, you know, at one time, but, um, my husband, oh my gosh, like he, oh boy, does he snore. He snores like a freaking freight train. He does. And uh, I'm going to scoot myself up here so I can reach her a little bit better. And then hopefully I can keep her from sliding so much. Um, this blanket is a little, I probably should have got like a, this, this blanket is like really kind of slippery. It's a Sherpa blanket. And the, the decorative side is like really slippery. So she wants to keep slipping down um, on it. But so anyway, like, um, like I was saying, um, I moved some of the babies in the bedroom. And how I managed to be able to do that was um, I, um, I'm actually the only one that sleeps in the bedroom. <laughs> and that's kind of the way it's been for the last, um, oh, a little bit over three years now. And kind of how that happened was um, my husband, he snores like a freaking freight train, like I was saying. And as time went on, like the older we get, the worse it got. And um, it, you know, it, it was to the point a lot of times that I'd end up on the couch at night because like I'd have to fall asleep before him or forget it. You know, it just, it, it wasn't going to be happening. So I would have to fall asleep before him or I just wasn't going to get any sleep unless I went to the couch. And um, so anyway, what happened was, um, because I mean, I don't know, it was just happening every night and it was either I go to the couch or I was like poking him in the ribs or, or, or that. And so then nobody was getting any sleep and uh, it just got to be a really annoying situation. And uh, so anyway, um, in 2019, around like uh, um, kind of before the holidays, uh, I got really sick with like a bad cold or something, like some sort of like respiratory something going on. It was sort of a cold respiratory thing. And I'm just picking her up so I can kind of untwist this just a little bit. Um, yeah. So um, yeah, and man, I was down with it for probably about a good month. It seems like every time I get sick, man, I really get sick and, uh, oh, it's terrible. Well, anyway, so what happened was, um, to give me that, uh, you know, that extra space, like when I wasn't feeling well, um, he went to the couch cause this is like before we, we, uh, fixed up the, the two rooms we have cause I have my sanctuary. He has his little man cave, which we call the annex and they're, they're across, um, each other. Um, in this like little vestibule we have and uh, so that's where the rooms are they were like um, two bedrooms like they were the the two bedrooms and that's where the kids slept you know when they were here and and pre-kids you know we just one of them was the the computer room and one of them was our bedroom uh, but anyway so when the kids got here um, when we adopted the kids um, we had done a uh, a house addition and uh, so we made us a new master bedroom and then the kids got the the two um, bedrooms that were in the the old part of the house so anyway now those two bedrooms are um, one of them is my sanctuary and the other one is John's uh, annex and so when we got those two rooms fixed up and um, so um, and, and before we did that he was on the couch at night <laughs> and um, uh, and the the living room was is pretty close to the the bedroom here and i could still hear him snoring <laughs> it was it was still kind of bad i wasn't as bad but it was still yeah you know not the perfect solution and you know especially somebody sleeping on the couch all the time you know so i had the big like we have a queen size bed in here and i had the whole bed to myself but anyway so when we got the rooms fixed up then he um put a bed in there for him and uh so he sleeps he sleeps in there and then I get this uh, bedroom all to myself. Um, he's got a few things in here, like 
Um, we do have um, his dresser is still in here and, uh, and and such, but that's pretty. And then he's got like a, we have a, we both have like a, a set of shelves that's kind of like uh, by each side of the bed. Like I got a set like on the side where I always slept, and then um, he has a, a set of shelves like where he used to sleep, and so those are still there. And uh, you know he's still got like some of his his stuff on there, um, and then of course his dresser, but. Um, uh, other than that, like, um, I pretty much have this whole bedroom to myself now. So I, um, commandeered <laughs> the, the parts, <laughs> the parts that, um, that are, um, used to be, like, you know, used to be his, that aren't his anymore because his stuff got moved, um, into the big closet. And then, um, so I commandeered, um, uh, that side of the room as well. And I put, uh, a lot of my uh, babies. Well, not a lot of them, but you know, a, a, a few of the babies in here. So I have some of the babies still in the sanctuary slash nursery, and some of the babies are actually in the bedroom with me. So I'm just kind of picking her up so I can twist her pants back around. Oh my goodness, talk about like fumble fingers. Holy moly. So that's kind of what, what, that's like my, my little long story, how I ended up with the bedroom pretty much all to myself. <laughs> so, um, Megan and Alex, well, Megan sleeps with me. Alex, you know, goes back and forth. Um, Megan has her little, um, little bed in here. And, uh, yeah, so that's kind of what goes on. And so I thought, well, you know, since I have this whole bedroom to myself, I'm gonna put some of my babies over here, which I did, and it kind of freed up some space in the in the uh, sanctuary, which is great. Um, I am loving that. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh, this is really cute on her. And I just I went ahead and put her socks back on her how I had them, and uh, yeah, I just I kind of just feel like her pants just need to be twisted just a little bit more. There we go. Um, and uh, these are preemie size, like I said, and they, they kind of, um, they, they fit pretty snug on her. They really do. <laughs> but, oh my gosh, like she just, she looks so cute in this. Um, oh my gosh. What do you guys think? Like, I think this is a really cute color on her. So, um, yeah. Um, but there she is, guys. And uh, I'm going to put a little hat on her and we're going to kind of wrap her up like a little burrito baby too. Because preemies, you know, they need all that that extra TLC, you know, so they need, they need that, uh, they need that extra special treatment because they're little and tiny and, oh, they're so little and cute and, you know, they just, they just need that TLC and, uh, yeah, preemies, you know, they just, they do something special to my heart, you know, they, they really do. Um, but anyway, so that's kind of what's been going on and so, um, with, um, with, with me, you know, having the bedroom to myself now, I've been just moving some of the babies in here. I moved some of my baby stuff in here as well. Um, and I still have quite a few of the stuff in the sanctuary too. However, um, I am kind of spreading it out <laughs> just, you know, to kind of give myself that spreading out, you know, so I can give myself that, that room. So I'm not, you know, totally cramped and, uh, I like it. And like I said, once I have it, done up right you know the way I want it I will give I will show you guys what it all looks like um what it looks like in the bedroom here as well as what it looks like in the uh, in the sanctuary so that's what's been going on so I've been just cleaning things out purging things that I don't want anymore and um you know just kind of making that room for the things that are important right now uh, yeah so that's what's been going on and it's really been keeping me busy because like I'd go at it like a lot during the day. So hobbies, like I was saying, you know, pretty much took a back seat because I just, you know, I was, I was working so hard on that project and, you know, just, I, I really didn't have much time for anything else. You know, I'm even behind on watching everybody's videos, but I'm hoping that I can get back into a more, um, reliable kind of upload, um, a more regular, like upload, upload, um, I won't call it a schedule because I'm not going to commit to a, a schedule because then if I don't upload, like if I can't follow through with it or whatever, then, um, you know, I don't want to have uh, a lot of, you know, disappointed viewers and I don't want to have myself being disappointed. So, but I am going to try, I'm hoping, I'm hoping that 
now that I have a big chunk of all that done. I've still got a ways to go, but now that I have a big chunk of that done, I'm hoping that I can do a more regular um, upload, uh, upload, uh, uploading time frame or whatever. And then um, also I'm you know behind on answering comments, so I apologize for that. I'm working on that, you guys. So just bear with me, bear with me. I've got my hands full right now. Um, it's getting there though, guys. It really is. It's getting there. And uh, yeah, we'll we'll make it. We'll make it. We'll make it. But um, I needed my baby fix, <laughs> so. I needed my baby fix because um, I'd just been so busy doing this other stuff that I just haven't had much time for anything else. I needed my baby fix and so I, I started watching some videos again and it's like man I need to film and I need to upload and yeah I need to show my my collection too. So I did like part one of a collection of my dolls and then I did say that I'm going to continue with that series which I will. It's just I'm a little scattered right now with trying to get all of my things organized and all of the babies organized how I want them and, and so forth. So just, you know, bear with me, we'll get there. Um, it's just gonna take a little bit of, um, it's just gonna take a little bit more time and energy, but but we're, we're getting there. And um, I promise it's gonna be all worth it. But anyway, I'm gonna take this little swaddle sack <laughs> and we're gonna put her, we're gonna put her in it. And like I said, we're gonna, we're gonna wrap her up like a little burrito baby because preemies, you know, preemies just need that. They do. They need that. And uh, so we're going to just, we're going to bundle her right up. And I have a little hat for her. And we'll give her her little binky. Let's see. Get that up. We got a little binky for her. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so we're just going to fix her right up because we're going to try to get her down for a little nap pretty soon. Yeah, um, it's it's not really nighttime. I don't know. It's it's kind of like around four o'clock or something. But um, we're gonna we're gonna get her kind of settled in and have a little nap before she has uh, before she has her dinner. Yeah, so we're gonna just we're gonna snuggle her. We're gonna tuck her just inside this, aren't we? So yeah. Oh my goodness, I really like these little little swaddle sacks. Um, try to hopefully keep her from sliding. But oh my gosh, like I remember when I got this little girl and it was like, I think right before Christmas and um, <laughs> Misty, she, she had her all wrapped up in a little stocking. <laughs> I just remember I laughed. I laughed so hard. I did. I thought it was the cutest and funniest darn thing. I did. It was so cute and it was so funny and I giggled. <laughs> I giggled and I laughed and I squealed and oh my gosh like ee, yes <laughs> oh those trademark squeals I kind of I, I'm kind of known I guess on this channel as the uh, <laughs> as the squealer I guess like you know those trademark squeals right <laughs> and uh, yeah so anyway um, we had to we had to fix her a little bit because I had her twisted up. I don't know what it is with me today, but me and, and Twisty is here. Like, I'm getting everything all twisted. I am. I'm getting everything all twisted. And, uh, yeah, so we need to not twist this little girl up. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, my goodness. And we have a little binky for her, so we'll, we'll do that for her. And I don't want to get, um, okay. Okay, I'll tuck that down. <laughs> oh my gosh, these, these, these little swaddle sacks are just the cutest things ever. Um, do you guys like regular blankets or do you like using these little, little swaddle sacks? Yeah, you guys, you guys tell me what you think. Do you guys like these or... Do you prefer the, uh, you know, just using like a, you know, regular blanket for, for your babies? You guys let me know what you think. Okay. These take a little bit of getting used to. I'm not going to lie. They take just a little bit of getting used to. But um, I think once you have them all wrapped up in there, it's super cute. Oh, my gosh. Super cute. <laughs> and, uh. You know what? Actually, I think. 
yeah actually I think we're gonna we're gonna do it from this side and I think yeah like that and then we'll velcro her closed and there we have it she is all wrapped up <laughs> Oh my goodness. Yeah, these preemies, let me tell you, they do something to my heart. <laughs> they really do. And uh, I'm going to get her a little hat. Um, because she needs a little hat. And hopefully this one will fit her. That it's not going to be too terribly big. And uh, this, I think I have a matching outfit that kind of goes with this. But I just kind of grabbed a hat at random. Like I said, I'm, I'm very scattered at the moment. So um, we're just going to kind of grab what we grab and do what do what we're gonna do so um, but we're not going anywhere today but um, I did want to go ahead and get her bundled up because I didn't put a particularly warm outfit on her but yeah there she is you guys and let me get her a little binky <laughs> oh my gosh you guys but yeah I wanted to get her out of her Christmas outfit and uh, just show her to you guys and play with her now this one I think might be a little big for her face. It works, but it might be just a little bit big for her face. But we're gonna we're gonna go with it. Um, it's still you know she can still um, well she's not a real baby, but like uh, you know she's got like if she were you know there's still a good airway there, so you know she'd still be able to breathe. But yeah, this one is pretty big for her. Um, I do have some preemie size ones. It's just I need to um, I need to rustle them up. But anyway, guys, there she is. I think she is, like, super cute. What do you guys think? Oh, my gosh. So we have this little burrito girl, and then we got, um, and I'll show you this one here. We have um, this little burrito guy. Oh, my gosh. So there they both are. And they can't, they both really don't fit on here, but we're going to just make it work here. So there they both are. Oh, my gosh. Now, he is quite a bit bigger than her, even though they're both preemie size, but there they are. We have little Gage and we have little Kira. Oh my gosh, aren't they cute? Look at them, aren't they cute? And both of these babies, like I said, were made by Misty over at Kids to Cradles Nursery. So yeah, there they are, guys. And I'm gonna go ahead and stop this video here and get this edited so you guys can see it. And uh, yeah, so you guys have a great day. And uh, please, please, please be kind to each other and uh, give all of those beautiful babies a big hug from all of us here at Serenade Nursery, and we will talk to you guys later. All right. Bye, everybody.